apply. Hey guys, so today's video is going to be me teaching how to apply false lashes. I get questions all the time from friends and family on how to apply them because they struggle with them. So I wanted to kind of share my advice. Um, I do want to mention, because I forgot to mention in the video, you can reuse lashes. Um, you do want to take care of the band and pick off the lash glue after each use. You can pick it off with a tweezer, but um, yes, you can reuse lashes. I just wanted to throw that in there because just in case I get that question. Um, you can't reuse drugstore as much as you can as a high-end lash, but can reuse them. So anyways, I hope this video is helpful for you to you guys. Oh. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments, and hope you guys enjoy. Okay guys, so let's get started on this lash video. So basically, the first thing I want to talk about is finding a lash that works for you. Um, everybody's eyes are different. Everybody's eye shapes, the amount that your eye comes out of your socket, um, the width of your eyes, everybody's different. So lashes work better for different people. Um, you can do a thinner band or a thicker band, which I'll get into in a minute. You can do more dramatic or more natural. Um, lashes that look great on other people may look super dramatic on me. Actually, that happens a lot with me. I guess it's just my eye shape. Um, and lashes that work really well for me and are really natural looking can be super dramatic on somebody else that may have a smaller eye. So it really just depends and you really have to kind of do your experimenting to find the best lash for you. But I do recommend starting in the drugstore with our gel, Kiss Lashes, and Salon Perfect Lashes. In my opinion, in my opinion, those are the best um, brands to start with because they're inexpensive. So if you mess up a bunch of times and ruin the lash when you first try or when you're first trying out lashes, they're only a few bucks, so it's not like you're wasting a $30 lash like some of the mink lashes are. I don't recommend starting out with mink lashes if you're just starting to apply lashes um, because they're very expensive and um that would just suck to ruin those because, like I said, they're just very expensive. So, um, I want to start off by talking about the type of bands. You can do a thin, clear band, um, which is very popular in the drugstore. Um, a lot of lashes are a thin, clear band. And then you could do something with more of a thick band like this. As you can see, these are the lashes I'm going to be wearing today, but these have a very thick band. Um... It really just depends on what's comfortable on your eye. There are pros and cons to each kind of band. Um, a thick band sometimes can be easier to apply because it's so sturdy, so it's easier to pop onto your eye, but that also depends on the eye shape that you have. But the con to them is that they can be a little bit more uncomfortable depending on the lash because they are a little bit heavier on the eye. Now a thin band is definitely lighter on the eye, lightweight, but sometimes it can be a little bit of a pain to apply because it, they're so flimsy because it's just a clear flimsy band that the lash is on. So um, I would just take that into consideration. I would try both, see what you like better. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to let you know about the different kinds of bands. I also recommend getting lashes with different lengths like this because they just look more natural than one that's all one length. Um, I do recommend trying out the Ardell Demi Wispies. I think that's a great lash to start with um, because it's pretty thin on the inner corner and then they get thicker on the edges, so it's just very flattering on the eye. So definitely check those out. A lot of times they are sold out because they are pretty popular, but I'm sure you can find them on Amazon or something. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to take the lash off the tray. Um, I already took these off, so they're going to come off really easy. I always recommend pulling from the middle down. If they're not coming off that way, then very, very, very gently pull from the side. Um, you can easily ruin the lash if you pull too hard, so just be careful of that. Um, another thing I recommend, a tool that I want to mention is a lash applicator like this. I got mine on Cosmetics.com. Beach Cosmetics has them, Tarte Cosmetics has them. You can definitely find them, but it makes applying lashes so much easier. So the first thing you're going to want to do is measure. I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit. So basically you wanna just pop it on your eye and see um, how much you need to cut off. Lashes come very wide because they're better than coming that way and having to cut them down, obviously, than um, having to 
having them come short and you just being screwed. So um, they come very long. I see a lot of girls keep them the length that they come in the box. And sometimes that's okay. It depends on your eye shape, again. But a lot of times it's not. And I see girls wearing lashes that are like ending all the way over here. And really they should have cut that, you know? One, it's just uncomfortable. I don't know how people wear them like that. But two, um, it's more flattering when it's cut down to the proper size. I always cut my lashes. It's very rare when I don't have to. Um, there is one pair by Salon Perfect that is a little bit shorter. So um, if I can find the lash, I will link it down below if you do have smaller eyes. But what is nice about those is I never have to cut them. But yeah, these are already cut down to my size. But I will insert a clip of me cutting down another lash so you can actually see what I'm talking about. Um, then you also want to curl your lashes and apply mascara. I already did that, but the reason why you want to do that is, especially if you have straight lashes like me, you want the lash to have something to sit up on. Oh, I'm going to show you my hand. You don't want the lash to be completely flat like this. You want it to kind of have something to kind of sit up on like that. So if your lashes are curled, they're going to be able to sit up like that. If they're not and they're straight, they're most likely just going to be like this. And then it's not doing anything for your eye. It's not really opening it up or anything. So you definitely want to make sure you curl and apply mascara. Now you're going to apply your lash glue. There's a few different kinds of lash glues. There's all different brands. I recommend Duo, but also House of Lashes has a great lash glue. So if you want to try another brand, definitely try House of Lashes. But Duo you can get at any drugstore. This is the dark one, so it does dry black. I do not recommend this if you are a beginner with lashes because if you do get it on your eyelid, then it can become messy. So I always recommend the clear ones, the clear glue to people that are just starting out. Um, it's it, the same tube except the writing is blue. So um, just pay attention to if you're buying dark or light or clear lash glue. I'm going to use the dark today because I am wearing a thick liner. So um, it's just better to wear that when you have thick liner on. But don't worry, when you put the lash glue on, um, the clear one, it does come out white, but it dries clear, I promise. So don't be nervous about that. Um, you're going to want to apply a very thin layer of glue over the whole lash band. From end to end, you don't want to apply a ton, but you want to apply enough. I always recommend getting the front of the lash, and I'll tell you why in a second. So definitely apply glue a little bit on that front band. Not the actual lash, just the front band. Okay, so the next step is being patient and waiting. At least, I would say, I mean the bottle says, most glass glues say like 30 to 60 seconds. I would say the minimum should be 40 seconds. Sometimes I wait over a minute. Um, honestly, it's better when you wait, the longer you wait. I mean, you don't want to wait till it's completely dry, but you want to wait till it's tacky because it's going to be so much easier to apply your lash when it's tacky rather than when the glue is fresh out the tube and then it's going to be slipping and sliding all over your eye and that's when you run into problems. So always make sure you wait. If you want to blow on it, you can. Um, don't ever blow on it if you are applying this to a client, which by the way, I do want to do a video on how to apply lashes on clients because I feel like that's something that a lot of makeup artists struggle with in the beginning. So I'm definitely going to be doing that within the next couple weeks, so keep an eye out for that. But um, on yourself, if you're applying on yourself, you can blow on it. Just don't do it if you're like sick or anything. So I'm going to blow on it. So yeah, please be patient. But another little trick is going like this while the glue is drying, doing this little half U situation, kind of bending the lash bands because it's going to make it more curved which is going to make it easier to apply to your eye. So definitely do that. And yeah, still waiting for this to dry so I'm going to let this dry up a little bit and then I will show you how to pop it on. Okay, so I zoomed you in so you can actually see what I'm doing and now I'm going to apply the lash. So, you always want to come from above. 
um, that is something that makes it a little bit easier. So hold your tweezer like down like that and come from above rather than coming from straight on or from the side. It's just better if you can just pop the lash on from uh, above, like I said. Okay, and now you want to secure the middle first. So you're going to want to pop them on, but you want to always secure the middle first. And then go ahead and secure the sides. Okay, and since that glass glue was dry, it was so much easier to apply. But um, the next step is using your tweezers and pinching your real lashes with the fake lashes. And this is just going to really push it down to the lash line and make them all kind of blend in together, meaning your fake lashes and your real lashes. And then the next step is taking your tweezer like this, and or you can use your finger, but I have nails, so. And you want to push up. This is going to kind of open up the lash and, and also open up your eye. So yeah, that's the lash, it's on, it's secure, so I'm going to zoom you guys back out. So as you can see, I feel like lashes just make such a difference, um, it just finishes off the look. So yeah, that's how you apply a lash, I do have to apply this one, but I think you guys probably have the gist of it by now. Hopefully this was helpful and um, if you liked it, please like and share the video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.